What's happening, folks? Tonight, we are going to install the Mango HUD. Um, what this is, is it's, it's kind of a open source project that can give you the same st statistics as, say, the DSVK overlay or like um, uh, MSI Afterburner in Windows. As you can see right here in this little graphic, this is more or less what it looks like. Um, you can also have it log and then um, have it do logging and then upload, automatically upload the, uh, the stats to uh, Flightless Mango here. And from there, it, it will do like frame time graphs and whatnot. Um, it's pretty slick, to be honest. Um, I, I had it installed on this machine before, but it's time for an upgrade. There's been a couple of new releases. So let's go ahead here and download it. And we'll drop it right here in uh, downloads. And we'll extract that. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. All right, and uh, we'll kill that old folder since we don't need it anymore. Let's drop that there. Yeah, here it is. This is what the um the uh, what the uh, the charts look like and whatnot that it, that it can generate. Uh, and anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing installed and run a test. Um, I just recently updated my machine to pop 2004. So um, I haven't actually had a chance to actually run anything on here yet. So we'll see how successful that was. Let's see, we've got to go uh, downloads, man, go HUD. I think it was, the install was, Prepackaged binaries is top slash mango hood test setup space in okay so we just gotta do that mango hood install boom enter my password and it is there sweet that's pretty much the the, the gist of it now um I had dug down in here and and um did a little configuration. Uh, I, like I put it down here in this bottom corner instead of up here in the top left. Um, yeah, in uh, dot .config mango hub, mango hub .conf, that's where you can change the location and a couple of the options that are down here um, under the, uh, under the, uh, <coughs> you know, inside of that config file. And uh, to call it, you just have to to uh, add it to your command line. Like for Steam games, you would do mango hood percent command percent, you know. So uh, let's find something here that has a built-in benchmark. Um, Alien isolation is good as long as you run it, run the the the, um, the Windows version anyway. Yeah, let's see. Game mode run, Mango Hood, and all my other preload um, command line parameters and whatnot. Okay, so let's. Let's go. Oh, well, it'll be okay. Yes, 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 I knew. Oh, OpenGL. So this is running, this is running native. This isn't running um, the uh, the Windows version, which which has a uh, 
DXVK translation. Well, <laughs> I guess you get to see how it runs in OpenGL as well, so it's pretty slick. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Uh, wow, this is a little blurry. Let's bump this uh this resolution up. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. All right, and let's bump all of these settings up. Now the uh, the, the the native uh, Linux version does not have the built-in um, benchmark in it, but the uh, the Windows version does. So what you can do is, what you can do is um, run the Windows version and have it run the benchmark. But um, that'll probably take them a second to download. Let me um, let me swap it over just in case, and we'll see see what the uh, the download time is. I have it have that preloaded on my Steam cache so it shouldn't take very long. So the difference is four gigs. <clears throat> well, this shouldn't take very long, so um we'll let it roll. And uh, I'll catch you in just a second. Installation is complete. So let's kick this off <clears throat> and run a benchmark, shall we? All right. And this must be on my, the one spinning disc that I have in this machine. Cause it is taking a minute to launch. There we go. Yep, there we go. I'm pretty sure that this has uh that this has um V-Sync turned on because it's topping out at a 144 uh frames a second which is the upper the upper um refresh rate for the for this monitor. Oh, and also I forgot 
that this is just running through screen capture. It's not running through the, uh, the window capture. So let's add that. to capture this one locked X server okay and then we'll go back up to here check the vsync let's see what we got yep it is on it is turned on let's turn this off and turn off the other shit that I don't like motion blur chromatic aberration there we go escape yes apply these All right, you know what? I'm gonna restart this just for sakes. Yeah, I'm gonna restart this. Um, there we go. There we go. Forgot my hotkeys. <laughs> All right, so. Let's start this again. There we go. That's more like it. DXVK, we got Rad V ACO, ACO compiler, all of this good stuff. And as, as you can see, the uh, the mango HUD down there in the, in the bottom left is is pretty on point with the same results that we're getting out of the um, DXVK overlay as well. And you, you you just saw that it will also run for OpenGL, so um, it, it, it's it's pretty configurable. It's pretty pretty solid. Um, I like it. I'm going to be including it in, in all of my other. Um, benchmark text and, and whatnot for games where I can't get the uh, DXVK overlay because it's using uh, Vulkan or native Vulkan. It's a native title and it's using Vulkan or OpenGL and whatnot. So. <clears throat> well, but that pretty much sums it up though. Um, I guess I'm gonna let this benchmark run and uh, we're gonna call it good. So uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.